Before we talk about social media, let's go back in history first. YouTube was created in 2005 as a dating website. Facebook was just for people in Harvard to share information. Twitter was an idea by Jack Dorsey as an SMS-based communications platform. Instagram was an app designed to communicate through photos. A lot of the principles behind each app was retained except for YouTube. They're not a dating platform anymore. But these platforms are now way bigger from when they started. They are now machines that enables anyone to promote their ideas, their beliefs, their agenda, and if used with bad intentions, can easily manipulate someone without them being aware. I want to talk about social media with three different perspectives. First, as a business entity. Big shout out to the international flippers that are about to make some real coin. Get your bag, boy. Get your bag. <laughs> Second, as a political entity. And yes, together, we will make America great again. And third, just an individual trying to promote an idea. Greta is a 16-year-old girl who has inspired thousands, maybe even millions of people. What I'm trying to imply is that each entity has their own agenda. And as a regular internet consumer, we should be aware on how they affects us and we shouldn't be just the prey among the predators. Okay, let's begin. I'll start first with business entity. Uh, hindi po libre yung paggamit ng mga platforms na to. Uh, what some of us aren't aware is we pay the use of it through our data. What? So every click, every post, every search na ginagawa natin are collected and will be used to us. So paano nangyari yon? The data collected from us by the social media platforms are what makes them very appealing sa mga business advertisements. So yung mga nakita nyo ads, it's not totally random, pero talagang targeted yun sa inyo based sa data na collected from you. Those aren't the only ways that ads in this platform works. Isa pang popular na style is yung mga brands that are partnering with influencers. I'd love to tell you about my sponsor, Squarespace. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. The is this, to show you how to create the... I'll put my conclusion at the end of the video, but for now, let's just move on to politics. Let's talk about politics and social media. Locally, meaning here in the Philippines, there's no like formal issue that arise from unethical use of social media. Meaning, walang napunta talaga sa court into trial with an ethical use of social media. Pero, yung pinaka naging issue lang locally here dito is probably yung mga uh, post ni Mocha Uson blog and yung mga trolls over the internet uh, that propagates fake news that probably uh, influences yung mga voters nung last presidential elections. But, in the US, there has been this big issue which is yung Cambridge Analytica scandal. So, yung summary lang nun is uh, they are able to put apps on Facebook that enables them to harvest data from the users without them being aware. And based from that data, they're able to make propagandas and spread information that is highly effective and very influential to the result of last presidential election in the U.S. They had uh, apps on Facebook that were given special permission to harvest data not from just the person who used the app or joined the app but also it would then go into their entire friend network and pull out all of the friends data as well. So move on naman tayo to an individual entity who's trying to promote an idea. So this story was from uh, Greta Thunberg. She was a Swedish 16-year-old uh, young girl. So what she's trying to promote is yung, uh, to act against global climate change. So what she did was um, she had a school strike during Fridays. So what does it mean is nag-skip lang siya ng school. So she sat down sa harap ng Swedish parliament. This was enough. I sat myself down on the ground outside the Swedish parliament and I school strike for the climate. If the adults won't take responsibility, then we will have to. With their slogan na, to act against climate change. So, ayun, uh, it's a story that went viral over social media and it's a positive one. So, parang yun, isa yun sa mga uh, pwede mong gawin or positive output ng social media to our world.
Okay, now na nabanggit na natin lahat ng agenda of three different entities, let's start having yung conclusion ko. So first, pag-usapan muna natin uh, being a consumer targeted by business ads. So, sa akin lang, uh, just be aware that uh, yung mga ads na yun uh, aims to parang uh, makes you aware to their service, to their brand, uh, and sometimes they partner with uh, your favorite influencer and sometimes uh, hindi naman talaga sila fan of that product. They are just paid to say what they have to say. So, just be mindful of that. Um, and sometimes ads are helpful. Hindi naman lahat masama. Ako, personally, I like yung style of how Nike promotes their product. But again, uh, just be aware that it's marketing, it's ad. Uh, it aims for you to parang uh, patron their brand. So, yun lang. Uh, just be aware and don't play a victim. On political entities, uh, as a consumer being targeted by political entities, so yung akin lang, uh, before you share or retweet something, uh, checking muna, not because their ideal is the same as yours, parang totoo na agad yun. Um, on yung mga Facebook extension apps, yung parang nagbumuha ka matanda, uh, yung mga ganun, mga, those are Facebook uh, extension apps or Facebook apps na ginagawa lang. So most of the time, uh, in exchange for that application for you to use, humihingi yun ng data kapalit nung paggamit mo. So, basahin mo muna. Sometimes, probably, they don't, but I doubt. Kasi, madalas yun yun eh. So, uh, our data is one of the, parang, you know, valuable commodity na ngayon. So, protect it. Yun lang. Um, be aware of those things. So, protect your data. If you want to know more about dun sa Cambridge Analytica scandal, I'll put link, YouTube links below. Uh, but if you want parang the more extensive deep, the deep dive, uh, just search for The Great Hack in Netflix, documentary yon. And uh, yung data naman, it's just new. Because kailan lang ba naging uso yung mga uh, social media apps that parang uh, gets our data. So, mga early 20s pa lang yan and ano pa lang ngayon, 2019. So, I think there will be much more issue uh, relating dun sa unethical use of our data. So, yun lang. Uh, I guess, hopefully, our government would protect us better. Lastly, uh, sa social media, one of the greatest story in this uh, new generation is yung kay Greta Thunberg nga. Yung, uh, pal- yung cl- climate change movement niya. It was a good story that was propagated uh, through social media. So, sa akin lang, let's be responsible on using it. There's an algorithm behind dun sa mga nakikita natin. Uh, so, be aware of it. Uh, share more positive things. And mas positive yung lalabas sa mga feed mo, sa social media mo. So, yun. There's an algorithm uh, behind yung mga lumalabas sa social media natin. Mga feeds, yung mga data. So, if aware ka doon, just, you know, uh, like click less of the negative ones. And if you find something na uh, against the community guidelines or basically unethical, i-report mo. You could always do something at the tip of your fingers. So yon, think that's the one of the simplest ways to be responsible in using social media. Alright, that's it. See you next weekend.